First John 4, 8. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. While the college experience can be amazing, we have to admit that as Christian young people, we may face extra challenges on the secular university campus. But regardless of these challenges, and sometimes fears, we can always find ways to share our faith with others. Sharing our faith and finding ways to help fellow students on campus through authentic acts of Christian service, among other things, is a response of thankfulness to God for the same measures of a warranted love He has so freely given us. First John clearly defines who God is. The text distinctly defines God as love. Furthermore, the writer qualifies this definition by stating that anyone who does not love does not know God. Love is therefore a key relationship indicator between those who know Christ and those who may not know Him. Let us attempt to explore the meaning of such love, as implied in the epistles. The use of the word anyone in John 4.8 presents an open invitation to everyone. As a pronoun, the word may refer to any person or people. This all-encompassing invitation shuts no one out. If anything, it says that the reader, despite your race, culture, persuasion, or linguistic roots, the moment you make a decision to express selfless love to others through Christian service, you have begun your journey of learning and knowing who God is. What are you doing on your university campus to display selfish Christian acts of service. Remember that true love means more than service to your friends. It means service to those who are oftentimes ignored, shunned, or totally forgotten by society. During this week, I want you to think about ways you can serve your fellow students on campus through genuine acts of Christian service.